Hey guys, welcome back, Kevin Dudney, and I'm again, I'm with Ben. Our next step is to do a quick tour of the home to give you some idea of the, um, the work that Ben had put into this design and how he could, how would we say, minimize his risk profiles depending on what's happening in his journey of life. Because when you, when you buy a home, Ben, it's for life pretty well, isn't it? That's right. And things change. Mm -hmm. You might move in, you might move out, mm -hmm. you might rent it out, all that sort of thing. So you needed flexibility in your design. Yep. And you put quite a bit of groundwork into that, didn't you? A little bit, yeah. yeah. Well, let's have a look. Let's go through the front door. Uh, by the way, Ben's only been through the front door about an hour ago, so we're both new at this. After you, Ben. So, welcome aboard. Front door. Open front door. As you can see, there's a laundry in here, which is the, um, the first of it, as you come in the front door. So we've actually used the hallway area quite well to create that uh, central laundry area. Now Ben, you've got this door here that opens up, so I'll just shut that for a second. That opens up. Come on in Renee. And what we've got here is an incredible open space with its own balcony, with its own interesting space, because what you've created here is a space that has its own lounge, its own dining, its own kitchen, and its own bathroom. Mm -hmm. But for the sake of the exercise, we'll call that a kitchenette. So, it's pretty well a separate space. And it's also got its own balcony. So, what's your idea here? Well, when I was walking around. So, plan on uh, renting out as a self-contained unit and uh, hopefully get a little bit more rent than what I would renting out just one bedroom uh, in a three bedroom house. So. so, guys, early estimates on the rental of this space. It's a completely separate entry point, completely separate door. Um, so it's a completely closable space. We've estimated, based in the area that we're talking about here, because it's fully air-conditioned, uh, fully self-contained, we think about $200 a week. We'll pull that up, but, you know, that's a good start, wouldn't you think? Yeah. 200 bucks a week. Let's have a look at the rest of the home. After you, Ben. So in this space here, you've got a, a mini hall. You've got um, a really generous bathroom, which I'll just turn the lights on. So as you can see, you've got a really great shower access point here. Tons and tons of room. Men love big showers. Sink, of course. Ablutions, all there. And in here is our second bedroom, which again is a good size. You've got the mirrored, mirrored uh, uh, wardrobe. Again, a split cycle air conditioning system. Carpeted, of course. And... Um, the main dwelling area that Ben has now got here, Ben. Tell us a little bit about this because you wanted to have something with uh, data points, which we're still working around. Mm -hmm. uh, you wanted something with a, a good spacious kitchen. Yep. I love your black tiles, they're really nice. Yep. Um, tons of cupboard spaces. On final handover, wall oven, hot plates. Good bench tops. Tons of space here. And of course you've got a main bedroom as well. So basically, Ben, how, how much space have you got here? How many bedrooms have you got in your space? Let's call it that. Two, two bedrooms. Two, two bedrooms, okay. Yeah. And the idea being, um, you're in the world of IT, aren't you? Yeah. So NBN's coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. That'll help you a lot. Um, you've got the, the bedrooms fairly well separated. So you've, again, got privacy even with the two bedrooms. Mm -hmm. And you've got the shared bathroom. Yeah. Good plan all around. Not a big house, mm -hmm. but a comfortable home. And there's only two of you, and when we started building this, there was only one of you. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Things happen, don't they? Okay. Yep. yep. Golly gosh, guys. Love is in the air. Every side and every sound. And so in here, we have the uh, master. This is the master? Uh, yes. Your master, yeah. Yes. So again, typical bedroom. Again, air conditioned, fans, plenty of breeze in this home because you've got lots of cross-flow ventilation, but most importantly, Ben has a block of land that he's acquired for $135,000. Unheard of, very hard to do that, but a nice deck. And the beauty of this uh, deck is if you have a little wander over here, you can pick up the incredible views that Ben's gonna be picking up across the landscape through to the mountains. And um, sitting out here having a cheeky little shardy or maybe a cold beer. Lots of uh, ground area, lots of grassed area. 
all round a very private setting because you've got that room designed so that it um, is completely separate from you. They've got their own balcony. Yep. You've got your own balcony. Mm -hmm. So guys, we're going to do a deeper dive on this one for our members in the Property Revolution and also the members of our Future Housing Task Force. And what we're going to do is we're really going to dig into the feasibility of how we selected the block, Ben's involvement in the design of the home, how we found the builder, the problems that we had along the way, um, the decisions we made in modular and then not, uh, the decisions we did, there was lots of extensions we had to get for finance. I think yeah. we lost a few months there in the beginning. Yeah. But looking back, it gave you a chance to save a few more bucks, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, a couple of other things you did, Ben, which was pretty clever. You uh, decided to put solar on the roof. Yeah. How many panels was that? Do you remember? Uh, no, but it's a 5.5 kilowatt. 22 panels. 22, was it? Got it. Yeah. So 22 panels, 5.5 kilowatt system, which means, Ben, you, you really don't have to worry about the neighbour that you may be sharing it with chewing up the electricity because it's powered by the sun. What do you hope, about 80%? Uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Okay. I think so. So that's a big cost really when you look at electricity. Mm -hmm. So not only have you looked at uh, getting into a home that's inexpensive as your first home, but you found a way to reduce the running costs as well. Mm -hmm. So if we look at that, you're getting some mortgage assistance with your good friend that's assisting you with 90 bucks a week plus your 200. And Renee was saying earlier that the repayments is around about 380. So if you look at it that way, you're going to have to find 90 bucks a week. Mm -hmm. Would you say that's a good outcome? Yeah, it's great. Yep. He's a man of few words, but his <laughs> point, point is he's made. 90 mm -hmm. bucks a week, not a lot to find. Um, if you were renting, you'd probably be paying, what, around 400 plus? Uh, yeah. yeah, easy. That'd probably hurt, wouldn't it? Yeah. What are you paying now where you're renting? Uh, roughly two, oh, the whole thing, 465. 465? Yeah. Okay, you're sharing that with someone. Sharing, that, sharing that with others. Yeah, yeah so that's, so w with that co-share system you're currently doing, how many of you are there? Uh, there is, well, the, at the moment, there's down, we're down to two at the moment. Okay, so that's the problem with co-share, guys. Yeah. Uh, one minute it's four, next minute it's two, and you have to cop the bill because you're probably on the lease. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, typical. This one, you own it. Yeah. Ben, thank you so much. No Welcome problem. aboard to your home. Thank you. Congratulations. Well done. Renee, thank you for holding the camera. Goodbye, guys, and uh, thanks for listening, and we'll catch you on our deeper dive that we bring to our members only. Thank you. Bye for now.